What's up, Power Purge? So, today, on the Stairmaster, LA Fitness in Hollywood, I read about how Israel was defeated when they, it was shortly after they had taken down Jericho, they went to AI, literally AI, and they were driven away. They only sent a couple people to go fight. They were thinking that they could squash them right away, but they got routed and chased off and they're tripping because they thought that they uh, the people at that city would tell all the other surrounding cities the different groups that knew Israel was on the rise and conquering territory and they'd go take them out and so one of the reasons was because the guy had taken some of the forbidden stuff that was under the ban um, I believe it was in Jericho and so, what happened was, they had come to the Lord, Joshua and the elders, and they were um, just tripping. They were like, man, they're going to take us out. God, what do we do? And one of the things that they said was, what are you going to do, Lord, for your name? And so, lately I've been going to different sermons, and it's been, you know, in, uh, in Las Vegas, in Torrance and uh, Orange County at Saddleback with Warren. Um, it's all been a very similar theme. God owns everything. God is our shepherd and he's responsible for us. And if we put the burden on him, cast our burdens on him literally, then we don't see anything as our own and the responsibility goes to him. And so it's a different type of mindset where you kind of release everything to the Lord and understand that you're a steward of everything. And so, as they said, God, what are you going to do for your name? And he told them about the guy who had taken uh, something and they cast lots and they found it out that he had taken all this gold and silver and some sort of mantle. He saw some swag clothes. And, uh, yeah, he said burn him with fire. So they, they stoned him him and his family and his donkey and sheep and tents and they just lit it on fire. And so, you know, that's our punishment for doing stuff that God says not to do. And whether that be sexual morality, whether that be stealing, lying, cheating, breaking into the Ten Commandments, you know, that's our, you know, our punishment is to, we're supposed to be stoned and killed. And so, as Abraham went to go sacrifice Isaac. God provided the lamb, so God provided Jesus. And uh, there was a psalm, I believe it was Psalm 69 that I also read. And it just goes over, you know, how they are persecuting the one who God had wounded. And that was Jesus pretty much talking about himself through King David as he was prophesying. And the reality is that God sent Jesus for our sins. And it all boils down to that. Everything always culminates into John 3.16. For God so loved the world to give his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. An interesting thing about that scripture is gospel is spelled out in it. For God gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That spells gospel right there. So, bottom line, prayer for today is Lord we thank you for taking our sins upon yourself that you bore our sins on the cross and that you provided the lamb for us God that we should be like Achan who got stoned and killed and burned on fire for our sin but you took that punishment for us on the cross and God what are you going to do for your name as we represent you in this earth God redeem us protect us from our enemies Protect us from reproach. God, there's things that we've done. We deserve to be punished. We deserve to be burned with fire, God. Even to that extent. And Lord, we just ask that you, for your name's sake, will bless us. Thank you for taking our sins on the cross. Thank you that we're covered by the blood of Jesus. And you pass over us and you don't bring judgment upon us. Thank you, God. We cast all of our burdens on you. Thank you for miracles, God. Thank you for our destiny and our purpose. Thank you for working all things out for good. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Oh, by the way, power prayers. I'm going to be revamping this whole channel. I mean, I'm putting in work. I'm going to be finishing up those prayer forms that I let uh, dissipate from formthis.com. They just stopped working. I had like five prayer forms that people were filling out, you know, so many every day, and I was forwarding it to 200 prayer ministries. Secondly, I have all these videos that I've been recording in different churches that I'm going to be uploading later today. And I am going to be adding different thumbnails and changing the description and putting the prayer pharmacy CD on there. I've been uh, selling tons and tons of these CDs just to different people. And I have some prayers on there from this prayer channel. Also, my rap, Pure Pressure, is my artist name, as you might know. And I've been in Hollywood, Vegas, and I just went to Hawaii for the weekend. I'm performing later today. And yeah, I'm going to get some prayer pharmacy CDs printed out. I'm going to finish up uh, a project that I've been working on for Disdupe USA, this underground music channel, social network. And uh, once I get that finished, I'm going to build up that, the prayer social network. And 24-7, there's going to be prayer lines to call. And I am also going to be adding more impartations, finishing up prayer pharmacy. Um, I'm going to be going around with an iPad and praying for people and having, you know, different types of uh, prayers for certain areas of your life. And I'll be following up with people, seeing how God has worked in their life through scriptural prayers. So, don't give up on me yet. It's all still in here. We're going to make it happen, baby. Pray for me. Peer pressure out.